Hey, what's going on, everyone? Hope everyone's having a good weekend. It's Sunday, September something. I don't, I don't even know. But uh, I'm about to go do some cardio. I spent the night over at Clarissa's house. We just watched a couple movies, and I passed out on the couch. And um, she went. She's on her way right now to go get some food. And I'm starving right now. But before I eat anything, before I drink anything, I have to hit 20 minutes of cardio, weigh myself in, uh, email that to my coach, which is a uh, Shawty Coker, and. Uh, uh, I guess he's going to tell me what I'm able to eat from this point on, whether I have to stay on the same. Hopefully, I lost at least two pounds this week because I'm dying. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys kind of like my way in process and shit like that. And um, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is hanging from my ear. Let me show you. This is some new stuff that I'm working on. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me right now. But, uh... I, I've been trying to gather inspiration from other places, and I really like the um, like uh, an anonymity. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but uh, kind of concealing your kind of concealing your identity, especially as an artist, because uh, you want people to focus on your artwork rather than the person that's making it. And um, I don't know, I really I really like the uh, the style of like these the way these surgical masks came out. Uh, the inspiration was drawn from a lot of different people. Um, Bape makes their own masks, but out of like their own Bape material, and um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I went to this uh, party last year, and it was for an artist by the name of Alec Monopoly, and that party like changed my life. I didn't get to shake his hand or anything like that, but I met him, and he conceals his identity. Like Everywhere he goes, you look on his Instagram page, Alec Monopoly, you never see his face, but I thought that was really cool, especially for, for being a designer or an artist or something like that. But um, I really like them. I'm probably going to start rocking them. And uh, who knows? I could probably be like a trademark or something like that. But um, I'm going to take a shower real quick, brush my teeth because I didn't get a chance to do that. Go for the 20-minute cardio jog thingy. Come back with myself and I'll catch you guys in a sec. All right, guys. That cardio shit was no joke. I went for, I think the cardio today was 20 minutes. So I jogged as much as I could for like 10 minutes and I took breaks along the way. But I came back, took a, took a shower, and now I'm good. But uh, before I drank anything today, before, like, I was really freaking thirsty, but before I drank anything, I wanted to do my cardio so I can tell my coach and kind of, like, weigh in and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't even think you guys will be able to see it. Let me see if I can, like, focus this shit. Go. Go. No, like, the facial recognition thing is on. Anyway, so, it's an email, and it basically says, um... Charlie Coker Fitness, which uh, he's a he's an alpha an alpha elite member, and uh, if you guys aren't in the fitness world, you guys already know who that is. Um, my name Moses Vega. Uh, what week's check in is this? I'm in ten out of twelve. Uh, previous previous week's weigh in one ninety four point eight, which is what I weighed last week. Current weekly weigh in is one ninety two point two, so I'm two pounds down. Uh, current assigned macros two twenty five carbs, fifty five fat, one hundred eighty five grams of protein. Uh, current cardio, four mild intensity steady state sessions, which is I'm on the um, what the hell is it called the elliptical for about thirty to, about twenty five to thirty minutes, and I'm burning uh, two hundred and fifty calories per session, and I keep my heart rate between one hundred and twenty eight beats per minute and one hundred and forty beats per minute, so it, it goes by really quick. And then one high intensity interval training type cardio, which is like the running and stuff like that. That's what I did today. On a scale of 1 to 10, how accurately did you hit your macros this week? Um, I did have some Chinese food today. I mean, not today, uh, a day or two ago that I didn't count. So I put, um, on a scale of 1 to 10 accuracy, maybe 7 out of 10. Uh, did you complete all your assigned cardio this, this week? Yes, I did. Were there any consecutive days this week where you felt weak, disoriented, or had back-to-back -back terrible workouts? Nope. Um, please inform me of any side notes or questions that you want me to know about nope so and then after that i do put up some progress pictures and i send to him and i'm going to press send right now actual size okay so usually within 24 hours he responds to me and he says okay so um according to last week's uh, progress this is what i want you to do now either keep your keep what you're eating the same or or lower it so of course right now I, my goal is, if I'm at 192 right now, my goal is to be 165. So I have some way to go, but it's going to happen. Um, I want to take this time right now to kind of show you the new stuff I was working on. You guys seen the mask that I have right here? Mm -hmm. Boom, it's just kind of like, 
It reminds me back when we used to live in New York. My boy would always have like this neoprene ski mask that like looks so dope because I always thought he looked like a ninja. So I don't know, like this this look kind of reminds me of that, and it kind of almost acts like a nostalgia kind of feeling. But obviously, you can see it's made out of python skin, and on the inside, I, I have it lined with silk right here. It's really comfortable. Yes, you can breathe through it. I might end up getting some uh, perforated python skin, or I might just perforate it myself where you have like like little air vents holes and stuff like that but I really don't see how that would even like affect the breathability through this mask because it's not a freaking full face mask the same thing that surgeons use and boom you're good you know I'm using it particularly more so for style and you know I don't I don't really see a lot of people wearing this maybe except for like two people but they're like on Instagram and um, you know I just decided to kind of make this part of my style and, and how I represent what I like to do. Um, I have other colors, boom. This is another one that I like. This one obviously sticks out a lot more, but when I first put them on, we've been playing Mortal Kombat for the longest, and I don't really, really play Mortal Kombat a lot, but he was saying that um, with like Scorpion, so I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. This one is really simple. It's just a white one without the scales. This is Italian lambskin. It's the same material that I make my hats out of. And in the back, it's uh, lined with the red silk. This one, I mean, these are all prototypes for right now, but just as like a look on how it will fit. Boom. Now this one looks more like a regular, like a regular uh, like hospital mask, but it also reminds me if you guys have ever seen like G.I. Joe, the Rise of Cobra or something like that, where like the white ninja wears like a mask like this. That's what kind of inspired me. And uh, to be honest, what I wanted to do with this was to, I was looking up like things that kind of inspired me in, in pop culture. And I was thinking about like the Jason mask and the Jason mask has, it's a hockey mask and it has like a, a little red accent on the forehead and then two little arrows on the cheek. And I wanted to, to uh, put that on here, but it didn't look right because it looked more like a red nose with like blushing cheeks. It was just really awkward. What are you watching? Hey! Stop! Disgusted at Ryan. Russell is the topic, uh, the title of me, and then you know, we have meetings, so I work groups where we talk about the topics. And you turned right? Um, okay, so did you go in through the front gate or the side gate? Put it on camera, girl. I'm using this camera for something later. Bye, Clarissa. See you later. Clarissa's taking her first Uber trip. So excited. So I sent Clarissa to the store to pick up a couple of things, including baking powder. And she goes to our nearby Publix and they're giving her a hard time because she can't find it. And they had, they, the workers have never heard of baking powder. Oh, we have baking soda, but not baking powder. And I need this for the recipe that I'm making today because my favorite show is coming on and it is Fear of the Walking Dead. Well, Walking Dead is my favorite show, but I'll settle for the Fear of the Walking Dead for right now. I want to make something so I can sit there comfortably on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday night watch my show but I need this to make what I'm trying to make I need to make sure that I have the cap that sold and <clears throat> if not I will have to order the cap make it and then ship it out but I think I have to check on the website on the, from the admin page and check what hat that it is so okay so I do have it and it is actually well how coincidental this hat right here I'm not sure if you guys 
can see it. Let me see. Oh, anyway, it's an all blacked out uh, Brooklyn Nets joint, and this is actually one of my favorite hats. I made two of them, and one I made for sale, the other one I made for myself. But I really like the fact that it's like it's all blacked out, like everything except for like the gold accents. It's all black, and I really think that keeping it all black, for one, it I don't know, black goes with everything. You you could wear this with anything, but the the gold accents just adds like a touch of luxury in my opinion. So. I'm really proud that this sold. I put up a, like a little Instagram video out, uh, I think yesterday, and maybe that person who copped this actually saw the video. And if you did and you're watching this video, thank you so much. I guess I'll show you the boxing up process. Really simple. Um, I don't have any boxes here because I have to re-up on them, but I hit it with a lint roller to get all the pieces out. I make sure that there's no like seams inside that, that need, or not seams, but like, you know, like loose threads that need to be cut off. I make sure that the strap is good. All I gotta do is readjust it so that way it's good to ship out. And uh, I always have to make sure, I'm everything, doing everything with one hand so it's kinda tough. Always gotta make sure that the headquarters pin is always there. And I don't wanna forget that because a lot of people, they buy the hat because of the pin. And I think that's pretty cool, but. And then what I ended up doing, or what I end up doing rather is, putting it in this protective little plastic bag, throw it in there, I throw in some business cards. I throw in this business card right here. I think this is like the one of the first ones I've ever had made and I have like a whole box of them. So I throw this in there, I throw about three of them in there just in case he wants to show his friends or something like that. And um, I shipped out that way. What's this say at the bottom? First lift. Oh, okay. Something. Let's see, let's see if anybody has any DMs from guys. Fuck up off me. Who's at, who's Jason, huh? Jason's the big guy I work with. Oh, now he's gay all of a sudden. You can look at him. Trenton from work? I need that mm -hmm. Trenton's gay too? Who the fuck is Sampion? Daniel. Is that a real name? No. Why, why does my camera seem dim? But uh, I had Clarissa go to the store for me real quick because I was feeding for something last night that I just had to make. And uh, this is going to go along with it. Some Frank's Red Hot. And then this is what she was asking everybody for. This is um, baking powder. But we're making wings tonight. And I really can't wait because... I'm going to be mimicking a recipe that was on Pinterest, and let me see if I can show you guys. Man, this new iPhone update kind of sucks because now I gotta, get a, I gotta get used to every new thing on here. Boom, you see? Truly crispy baked wings. They look freaking amazing. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but this is what I'm gonna be making. And real quick, I took the chicken wings, I, I uh, dusted them off, with uh, baking powder and some salt. So it's sitting here and it's sitting here. Obviously I have to kind of ghetto rig this because I don't have any pans. They need, they need to be elevated so that way the dripness could drip down into the pan. And uh, the reason why you put the coating on there is so that way it gets uh, nice and crispy. And I don't know how exactly it works, but it is going to work and we're gonna see. They have to go in the oven right here for about, Thing it says 30 minutes, and then you gotta take the, and then you gotta crank the heat up to 425 for 40 to 50 minutes. So I'm gonna get that done because I wanna eat before my show comes on. They're oven baked. They they really do feel crispy, and I really like that because I don't wanna fry them. Okay. Oh damn it! You got hot sauce, not uh, wing sauce. 